Hi, this is Pat Love back from Love Healing Hearts with another dream from one of our regular faithful viewers, Anthony. Uh, uh, I call him Little Brother. <laughs> okay, listen. Well, I was at home with my aunt's dog. I'm going to read and talk kind of together. Okay. My aunt went out of town, so it was me and the dog at the house. I remember being in my room and something hit me, kind of like a clue or something. So I sat down and thought about it and something didn't feel right. Then I believe I had a vision right in the middle of my dream. So I saw my family and friends. I can't really tell what they were doing, but something told me to get my bags and pack up some some things that I might need to take along with me. So I did. Then after I went to feed the dog, but I didn't take my aunt's dog. I was in such a rush to leave the house. I look I I took my key and locked the door. So now I was headed to the subway. Somewhere I can't remember. The only thing I can remember was heading west somewhere. I saw a bus leaving town. Oh boy, I didn't even have any money. I was feeling crazy. I went to the driver and the driver told me to get on the bus. It was free. And I was like, wait a minute, is this a joke or something? Are you serious? Anyway, so, but, but no, this was real. <laughs> I remember seeing the people on the bus so happy and joyful, like they had just hit the jackpot or something. <laughs> anyway, okay. So I got up and I was about to head to the front of the bus because suddenly I remembered I hadn't fed the dog. It was weird in the dream. It was like, did I or didn't I? But anyway, so I'm getting up to get off the bus and the bus starts moving. So I guess I ain't going nowhere but back to sit down, right? Okay. So now I'm trying to figure out what am I going to do? What am I going to do? And God, uh, well, a voice tells me, call my aunt. And I'm like, well, if I call her and tell her I didn't feed the dog, you know. And he said, don't worry about her reaction. Just call her. So that's what I did. I called. And everything, it was a smooth conversation. I was really surprised at how smooth it was. Hmm. So anyway, so back to the bus right now. Oh, excuse me, you guys. Oh, boy. Anyway, she'd asked me if I locked the dog. I said, yeah, and all that. So... Uh, she told me to be careful. Then she asked me when I was coming back. I told her I didn't know. Then she said, okay. So I realized there's something where I was, I didn't realize where I was headed. So I started asking some of the people on the bus, you know, where are we going on the west side? And uh, <laughs> I remember looking out the window, seeing the mountains. Oh, it was so beautiful. I realized that I heard a voice at the time. And I just lost my place. Let's see. Where am I? Help me out, you guys. Okay, I'm teasing. Okay. Um, hmm. Anyway, I heard a voice. And it was Pastor Paul Beagley. He was online. It was like he was warning the people that were left behind. I couldn't understand what he was saying. He would always say, "What are you? Are you serious?" Before he start talking, it was like he looked nervous or something. Though, then we pulled over to the rest stop, and I realized that everyone was getting off the bus. Well, I look around. Okay, and I got off the bus and started to ask some of the people, what's going on? Well, I realized they were all Christians. They had been chosen. I was one of the chosen ones as well. So they all joined hands and started to pray. They were praying for miracles, for the Holy Spirit outpouring, etc., some were speaking in tongues. Then after that, I realized something was happening. Then I got on I got on the bus. It was a different bus. Then I sat down and looked out the window. I don't know what I saw outside, but I woke up and that was the end of my dream. Now, Pat's two cents. <laughs>
When we have dreams like that, we can kind of tell the bus is symbolic of the rapture and the Lord, you know, taking his people away. But the main thing I want to ask you is, are you ready? What if he came knocking at your door? What if he came busting through the clouds? They're blowing the, the trumpets. You go out to see what all the rocket is about because there's going to be thunder and lightning and it's going to be a grand display. Trust me. The whole world's going to see it at once. So my question to you is what are you going to do? Are you going to be afraid? Or are you going to be happy and 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 excited to see your Lord and Savior finally come? I ask that because lifestyle has a lot to do with that, you guys. Okay? I'm half asleep, so I'm going to stop before I doze off while I'm talking. <laughs> but God bless you. And listen, ask God. Ask God to come into your heart if you haven't done so. Ask God to give you a mind to be saved because I'm telling and to fill you with his Holy Spirit because you need the Holy Spirit to help you even want to change. You hear me? And I'm telling you, God will bless you, but he's not going to come for you if you're not one of his. So please Join in the Holy Ghost family. You hear me? Come into the fold. Those of you who have strayed or have backslidden, come back home, you guys. Please. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.